Hello and welcome back to the note deck series. This is going to be the third and final part and I have so many exciting features to share with you. The app developers have been working really hard to make improvements and come up with some new features that are super exciting so stay tuned and let's go. Welcome back to another video from HSTV and thank you very much to NoteDex again for sponsoring this final part of the NoteDex series. Um, I hope that you guys have downloaded NoteDex by now. If you have not got your promo code, I still have promo code so please do get in touch um, down in the comments, through the Instagram, I'll leave everything down in the description you need to know about. But I'm so excited because the NoteDex developers have been working super hard over the past week, this is why this video was slightly delayed as well. Um, to come up with all of these new features, improving bugs and making sure that the web interface is all ready to go. So I'm going to be taking you through everything that's new in the new update that they have released. I'm going to be showing you how you can share decks, how you can use the web interface as well on your Mac um, PCs and, and Windows PCs as well and just why note decks as a whole is such a brilliant concept, why you should go and download it and I know that last week I said there was quite a few improvements to be made but I have changed my mind on that because they have literally fixed everything that I told them to and I'm so grateful for that and it's great for people like me and people like you who are going to be using note decks to assist our everyday revision and hopefully long-term learning as well. So stay tuned and let's get on to it. So one of the things that I mentioned last week is the fact that we didn't have image rotation. Well, guess what? Now we do. So you can now rotate your images regardless of how they have been saved in landscape, portrait, etc. And you can rotate them 90 degrees um, to however you want and put them in your notes. So that is fantastic. The second thing that I mentioned was the fact that palm rejection wasn't that great and the fact that things kind of glitched a little bit and it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. Well, that has also now been fixed in the latest update. All the Android bugs have been fixed, so the app is smoother in syncing, smoother in coming up with the cards. Um, palm rejection has been much, much better this week. Um, I created a few cards actually, and I had no problems doing that this week whatsoever. There wasn't any streakiness or any kind of me having to go back and rub out things. Everything just worked how I wanted it to, and that's been really, really helpful. Um, and you can see that these cards that I've just created took me about 20 minutes max. Alright, so that was the improvements from last week, but now for the big thing that's happened and that is the web feature has now been released, so now you can go and check it out for yourselves. And it doesn't matter if you're on Android, if you have a Samsung, if you have an Apple, this is a web version so you can go and check it out on your Macs or your PCs or Windows, whatever you want, it's available and out there. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration now, so let's go. Alright, so as you can see, the web version is now available for anyone to use. Um, so all you have to do is go and log in with your account that you use on your tablet or phone or whatever device. As you can see, I've already logged in and the syncing is super quick because I literally just updated everything on my tablet and hopefully all the cards will show up now. And as you can see, everything looks really nice. The interface is super simple, just like as we saw on the tablet and the phone, and all the cards actually look fine. There's no glitches, no kind of proportion mess ups or anything, and they all work exactly as they were on the tablet and the phone. So it's really nice to see that across your devices, it really is synced up um, fully to how you make the cards. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new card then and see what features are available to us. So same features as the tablet version and the phone version as well actually at the top here. Um, let me just kind of make a trial run card and we've not really focused much on the typing feature so let's just uh, try that out quickly as well.
all right so that was pretty easy um, everything kind of worked, no glitches, all good. Um, we also have the study mode that we saw in the phone and tablet version as well. So again, I don't know, could just shuffle cards and just kind of go for this and see how it works. So yeah, it kind of works well and it, there's not been any problems, all very smooth. Alright, so now I want to talk about how easy it is to share decks. Now, first of all, the people that you send your deck to do not need to have note decks installed because it's all done over the web version. So it doesn't matter what phone you have, doesn't matter if you've downloaded note decks or not, it's all universal and it can be opened up anywhere. Now, if you upgrade to the power user upgrade, it will give you more flexibility and more power over how you share decks. So I'm gonna give you a quick demo now to show you all the things you can do. All right, so if we click the three dots on the top of our stack and then go to share to web options, it gives us these options. Now, please note that this is only for the power user feature, otherwise you just share the link and you don't get this customization. So here we have the copy and share link, um, as well as a password and an expiration date. So for testing purposes, I'm just gonna put the password in as MBCHB year one. Please note that this is gonna be case sensitive as well as if you put in spaces, etc. The person on the other side will have to put that in as well for the password to work. So I've kind of complicated this for me a bit. And anyway, um, expiration date I'm setting as the fourth just randomly and we're not gonna allow people to edit this um, deck. Then we click done and when we now click the share button you can see that that's the settings and all we can do now is to share it. So I'm just going to go ahead and email this link across to the YouTube channel um, email and then we will check it out on phone as well as web to see how it is and if it works smoothly. Okay, so on phone here, just got the email open. Clicking on the link now, it's gonna take me straight to the Note Dex web version. And you can see that it's just loading and it asks for the password. Now I have to type the password exactly how it was supposed to be, as I was saying before. So hopefully after doing that, it should let me unlock the deck. Now this is the great thing about having the power user feature because it gives you that added flexibility and security options. And here we go, we have got the deck open and you don't need to have note decks installed in order for the deck to open. And all the cards are there and they're all in good formatting. And just to test the same on the web version, so this is just for my PC again, I'm gonna click on the link and hopefully it should do the same as it did on the phone version. Asks for the password again. And uh, once we have typed the password in, hopefully it should let us log in and we'll have that deck exactly how we made it. And you can see that the deck has now appeared exactly uh, how we made it. And this is brilliant for teamwork and collaboration tasks as well. All right, so although this is the end of my little series on note decks, note decks has so much more in store coming very, very soon. And I hope that in the future I can make more videos about note decks as well, because I'm definitely not deleting this app off my devices. I'll tell you that for sure. You know, they've got the ink feature coming on web really soon as well. They've got faster speeds coming in. They want to have a search or filter feature coming in very soon as well, which would be incredibly useful if you could just search a term and it could pop up. Kind of like what we do on Samsung Notes actually and you know that I love Samsung Notes a lot. And another feature that Note Decks are saying will be coming soon is the ability to import data from apps like Anki or Excel or text files so you can kind of import um, flashcards without having to make new flashcards so the data would be all there for you and you know these features have massive capabilities for students for other professionals as well you know flashcards are something that everyone uses at some point and it's a great way of revision great way of kind of boosting your memory in learning new skills new abilities new things blah 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 so i just want to say that this is not the end of note decks 
Notedex has so much more to offer. I've just shown you a little snippet and I really do hope that you go download it. I really do hope you go try it out and please do get a promo code from me. You don't really have an excuse to not get a promo code. So please do comment down below and get one as soon as possible. All right, everyone, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this series. Let me know any more suggestions, comments, anything you want to say to me, leave it down in the comments. And once again, a big thank you to Notedex for helping this series come to life. Um, would not have been possible without you. So thank you so much. It's been great fun working with you guys and you are brilliant people. Like the way that you have improved this app over the past week is really amazing for me. And I'm really grateful and I'm sure that all users of this app are really excited for the future as well. Now, um, just in terms of the channel quickly, it is going to be the Easter holidays now. So that means I'm gonna be trying to upload more. We're gonna have a six month Tab 7 Plus review coming soon, as well as a Note 20 Ultra series as well. So please do stay tuned. So many exciting things happening all at once. I hope you all stay safe and happy. And I think that's me done. Goodbye and I'll see you very soon.